hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial so we are back with a tutorial on logstash elastic search in kibana so if you have seen my uh, playlist for logstash elastic search in kibana in last video we have shown you how to set up logstash elastic search in kibana using binary files and you know it was a normal process how you can do this but in this tutorial we will see how uh, you know we can do it in much simpler way using docker containers so we are going to see how we can set up this whole elk stack uh, you know, both uh, logstash elastic search and kibana using a docker compose file so we'll be writing the whole docker compose file where you know once we run the docker compose it will create the containers for logstash elastic search and kibana we'll be also writing the configuration files uh, for logstash so that it can send you know the logs to the elastic search and then to kibana so all those things we will do in this tutorial so it will be pretty uh, interesting for you so let's get started so if you are uh, new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel i would request you like uh, click on the subscribe button also like my videos share uh, press the bell icon so that you'll be notified about this uh, videos so in order to get started, uh, you know, as I said, this tutorial will be about uh, Docker Compose, where we'll be creating the whole Docker Compose file. So what would be the overall agenda would be like we'll have some log files which will be, you know, sent uh, to the log stash. The log stash will be running as a Docker container. And from the log stash, we will be uh, sending those into the Elasticsearch. And the Elasticsearch also will be running as a Docker container and from the elastic search we'll be having the kibana which will be the visualization which will be also running as a container so all these things what we are going to achieve is like we are going to create uh, all these things using a docker compose file where we'll be writing about uh, the services for logstash elastic search and kibana and also we'll be creating volumes where we can map some config files uh, for logstash and other things so we can when we run the docker compose file all these config files will be used and the whole containers will be running and the data will be available in the kibana so without further ado i will get into directly to the docker compose file so i'm not going to write the file from the start because of considering the time i already written the file so i will go through uh, the whole content and i will also share this uh, docker compose file through my github link so check the video description you can just go to the video description and get the github file where you can copy this docker compose file so you don't have to uh, follow uh, no, uh, the whole steps again one by one writing through it so you can just copy the content from the github okay so what we are trying to do is basically we are trying to create three services one for elastic search one for log stash and one for kibana okay so that's the main three uh, thing what we are doing uh, and uh, for elastic search we are going to use the image elastic search and the uh, version is 7.16.2 which i have used i think there is uh, one more version uh, released 17.7.17 uh, i believe so but i used 17.16.2 uh, and i'm going to give a name for the container which is elastic search you can use uh, any name and i'm also giving some argument like restart always so that container gets stopped it can restart and uh, as i said we will be using some volumes and environmental variables so volume i'm going to set uh, a docker managed volume elastic underscore data and i'm going to map to this location so if you don't want this uh, to be as a persistent uh, volume you can just remove this uh, parameter as well but if you want add other volumes as well because you know here i am not mapping any uh, volume for the elastic search dot yaml so if you want to create your own uh, elastic config file so you can create that and you can use that as a volume and you can map it here as well so this is uh, i wanted to keep it more simpler so that you know i don't want to make it uh, bigger uh, config files but if you want to have your own elastic dot uh, search dot yaml file which need to be mapped to the container you can use that file in a location and you can use that as a volume to map it here okay and we are also using some environmental variables so uh, i'll go to this one discovery type because i want to run this elastic search a single a node cluster so i'm not using a multi cluster here so it's a single node and i'm also setting some uh, environment variable so it can restrict the uh, java ops or memory usage so i'm going to use this uh, one okay 
and the ports which uh, we are going to open for the elastic search is 9200 and 9300 and I'm going to use a network or ELK so I'm going to use this network so that all these services or the containers will run, use the same network okay so I've used the any name you can give so I've used ELK as a name and the next service is the log stash so here again I'm using the image as log stash but make sure that you're using a compatible version of uh, Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana so I'm using the same version here and I'm going to give the container as uh, Logstash and again here uh, the restart always and if you see here I'm using a volume so I'm going to use a folder inside my current location of where I'll be having the docker compose file and I'm going to map that to Logstash dot underscore dar in the container why the importance is like I'm using a command so that you know when the log stash is getting started it should use this config file uh, inside this log stash uh, underscore dr so this log stash dot conf I'm going to create it as part of this tutorial I'm, and I'm going to put it in this location so when the log stash gets started it's going to map use this log stash dot conf when it's starting so I'll be putting some content here the pipeline content so that uh, Logstash can use that uh, as part of its uh, process. Now this Logstash container is also dependent on Elasticsearch because some of things what we put under Logstash.conf will be mapped to the Elasticsearch uh, container so that it can send the data to the Elasticsearch. Now also for Logstash the port we are opening is 9600 and also I'm going to set an environmental variable to uh, the set the memory usage so to 56m and uh, the network is ELK because both these uh, services should be on the name network and the third service and the container which we are going to create is Kibana and again I'm using images Kibana and the version is 7.16.2 and the container name is Kibana and uh, restart is always the port for Kibana is 5601 here if you see I'm using an environmental variable called Elasticsearch URL so this will be the Elasticsearch URL if you see this uh, name Elasticsearch it comes from this container name so if you are using a different container name you should change this URL based on that and also it, this uh, uh, service also depend on the Elasticsearch cont uh, container service and the network is again ELK and the volumes which I have used here there is only one volume which I have used as a docker manage this one is like a mount uh, volume directly mapping to the host and uh, so that's why I'm using only elastic underscore data and the network is ELK now as I said you can use more other variables or other environmental other settings as part of your requirement as I said you can use uh, kibana.yml file uh, as a volume if you want to map it by yourself where you want to create your own also you have logstash-yml which you have created by yourself which you have specific configuration you can use that as well as well as a volume so but I don't want to make any changes on all those things I only want to keep is like the logstash.conf now the logstash.conf I'm going to use this uh, pipeline so I'm going to use simple uh, input which is coming from a log file in dot log which will be under the stem so I will be creating this file and also I'm going to use an output which will be to the Elasticsearch so this would be the Elasticsearch host so this would be the content of uh, the logstash.com which I'll be using here so let's get uh, started with this whole process so let me go to my docker uh, machine so I have this docker and uh, I'm going to create a folder called uh, ELK first and uh, I'm going to get into that and uh, now inside this I'm going to create uh, another folder called uh, Logstash so you can see one more folder called Logstash and I'm going to go into that now inside that I'm going to create a folder called Logstash.conf so I'm going to create a file called logstash.conf and I'm going to paste this content which we spoke about the input and output so this will be the content of uh, logstash.conf which is under this file uh, logstash folder so let me go one step back and uh, here if you see I have this logstash folder I'm going to create a file called docker 
compose.yaml and I'm going to copy the whole uh, content of our docker compose into here so you can see I've just copied the whole uh, content and I'm going to save this so now we can see we have one docker compose file and one log stash and I want to go back to the root directory and I will create uh, a folder called uh, temp and uh, let me get into temp and inside temp I'm going to create a, log, a file called in log I'm going to file called in log dot log so it should be in dot dot log and uh, I'm going to put some instructions like simple this is a test file some content I want to add this is a second line so I just want to add some content so that's all so that it can uh, put these log files from this file into the elastic search okay so let me go back to the elk folder so now we can see i am inside the elk folder where i have the docker compose file now in this machine i already have docker installed and also docker compose installed so if you don't know how to set up docker and docker compose uh, please check my tutorial i'll link that into the video description so you can refer that okay to set up your docker and uh, now what we need to do is we need to run a docker compose up so let me use docker compose up so once i run this it will uh, download the image for elasticsearch kibana and logstar so since i already have it it has uh, created the container easily if not you know it will download the all three con uh, images first then we will start creating the containers or services so now you can see it's starting the process so we need to wait uh, I'm not running it in a detached mode so uh, you can see all the process happening on the screen itself the whole process so it will start creating the elastic search uh, process first then it will go to the uh, lock stash then it will go to the Kibana so let's wait so you can see it's uh, going through the process so it may take some time because uh, it has to create uh, the elastic search container first the it, its indexes then it has to create the log stash container and it has to connect to the log stash to elastic search as part of our config file then it has to create the kibana and the kibana has to attach to the elastic search so you can have the index of log stash into the kibana dashboard so let's wait for this to be completed so you can see the process you know it's also starting the process for log stash so you can see a uh, elastic search and uh, the log stash is coming up so let's wait you know the whole process has to be completed so you can see a message like uh, log stash um, the apis are started so it's going a little bit faster so uh, i cannot pause it so let's wait for this to be completed now you can see it has started the process for kibana so you can see uh, the Kibana container is also getting started. So let's wait uh, the whole process completed then only we can access uh, uh, Kibana as our web browser and Another point is like you know since we have uh, different ports used like 9200 5601 uh, 9600 uh, So in order to access all these ports uh, or the connection to happen You also need to make sure that these ports are open in the firewall so I already did did that so you can run these commands you know which I will give into the my github link you can copy it from there so you can use this command so that it can open the ports and you know the connections happen so if you not done it uh, sometimes you know the connection will not happen and you will not be able to access your Kibana on the web browser as well so I already run this so I'll give it into the video description through the github link so you can copy it and you can run it from there so you can see I'm using uh, the 5601 uh, uh, port number and you can see the Kibana page is uh, opening up. So now we are inside the Kibana homepage and you can also see like if you check the containers running you can see three containers one for uh, lock stash so you can see and one for Kibana and one for Elasticsearch. So there are three containers running now so all these three containers running uh, perfectly fine. So now you can see we have the Kibana page and if you go to Kibana uh, configuration so you can see go to uh, stack monitoring 
if you go to the stack management and you can check the index so now you can see we have the index for log stash over here and you can also see the uh, pipelines uh, all those things we should be able to see here so you can see the already the index is there for log stash so uh, the thing is now you already will have the data coming in so now you can write your queries and everything you can uh, use it uh, using your uh, tools dev tools you can write the queries and everything to get the data from the uh, uh, log stash which is coming from elastic search to kibana so i just wanted to show you how this connection is happening we are not going to talk much about how the data uh, has to be used for querying and how to create uh, dashboard charts and everything that is not part of this tutorial this one we wanted to show you like how we can easily set up you know the whole uh, log stash kibana and elastic search using a docker compose we'll also see like in the upcoming tutorial like we'll use some uh, other components like beats which we can which can be used to collect some data and send that uh, through logstash and uh, elastic search to kibana so then uh, probably after that once the data is there we will see how we can use those as a analytics and how we can create more uh, dashboard and everything in kibana so that will be the future tutorial so that's all for this tutorial i hope uh, you can see like what we did is like we created a docker compose file which has created services for logstash elastic search and kibana and uh, the config uh, the logstash.conf which we have defined like what should be the input from where that input should be sent to elastic search and that will be shown in the you know the as a index in the kibana as well so that is all for this tutorial I hope uh, it's an uh, informative tutorial for you and uh, if you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like this subscribe to my channel and also you know like my videos share and give your feedback comment in the comment section and what do you want to see more if, if you are interested to, to uh, take uh, some topic which I I'm happy to help you to create those videos so please put that feedback in the comment section so thank you for watching